what is up you guys it's Brendan and I'm back with another video so I decided to record today because I'm probably not gonna be able to post this video on Saturday because I'm gonna be really busy so I decided to do like my Q&A but also with me driving I'm gonna drive to Starbucks like a driving with Brendan so I'm gonna drive to Starbucks and then I'm gonna drive work and I'm gonna answer your guys' questions I only got a few but um so yeah Let's get started. Um, let's say that I'm not the best driver. Um, I've gone into accidents. Um, the first accident that I got into, I was on the 91 freeway and I was driving to school and I was merging into the other lane in this worker truck. So let's say I actually had like enough space to like fit. So I was merging into fast track and this worker's truck didn't want to let me through. So, but I did have enough space. So I was merging over and then this worker's truck started hauling butt so I couldn't merge into the lane. So we ended up colliding with each other. And um, so we pull over, the guy was super rude to start off with, very rude. He wanted to call the cops and say that it was, it was technically my fault, but it was also 50-50 but obviously it was my fault, but he didn't report the incident because my stepdad ended up talking with him because he felt like the situation, there was no damage to either car, so we were like, then why are you gonna call the cops, you know, if there was no, you know, serious damage to either car? So, um, that was my first accident, and then my second accident was 100% my fault. I was driving to work and I was in a rush, and um, I just got out of school and I only had like a half hour to get to work and I decided to stop by Starbucks and um, so I was going super fast and um, I was in the Starbucks drive through not drive through I parked and I was in a rush to get to work so um, I reversed without looking like I looked in my um, side mirrors but I didn't look behind me and there was a car that stopped behind me and um, so I didn't look and I reversed super back and I smashed right into the car behind me and I left a dent in the side of their car. But the guy at least this time was super nice. And so, um, yeah, um, that was my second accident. And then, um, so some of the questions I asked you guys on Snapchat and Instagram to ask me some questions. So, um, one of the questions was, um, is there a place that I would like to travel to? Um, Lionel and I have always talked about wanting to travel to Australia. Um, it's kind of always been like our main place to go to. Um, I really love Australia. I've always wanted to just see, you know, visit. Um, Bora Bora, I saw a couple of famous YouTubers when they tart was sending YouTubers to Bora Bora. I just saw how gorgeous it was there. I was like, oh my God, I would love to go there. But um, Lionel and I have talked about going to Hawaii. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the main places I would love to travel to. Um, um, I'd rather um, be able to like sit down, um, you know, settle down first, you know, have a job before I kind of travel. Um, better not to have to deal with so many financial issues you know and then I got another question that was from my grandma and she asked me she was like what do you um, want to get out of college besides your diploma um, I just want to become a better writer if you guys didn't know I'm going to Cal State San Bernardino in the fall and I'm going for creative writing journalism I've always enjoyed writing um, I'm actually um, I'm actually writing a book right now called A Token of Opportunity, and it's about a 16-year-old girl named Abby who lived in Los Angeles, and her parents just recently divorced, but her mom got an opportunity to go um, to Texas to be a surgeon, so her mom takes the opportunity, and her dad stays in LA, and she goes with her mom with her brother Jack to Texas, and she um, has a neighbor, the Smiths, um, they're known as the Smiths, but one of the girls that has the same age as Abby is named Dana, and they go to school together and she's very mean to Dana and she's very harsh on her so Abby deals with a lot of bullying in school and she's dealing with her dad possibly wanting to come move to Texas and be part of her life after they haven't talked for 10 months 
um, from the divorce and everything. And so the moral of the story is bullying and stuff like that. Um, so I'm hoping to be a better writer and learn from other people's types of writing. Um, so, and then I think I got another question that asked, um, what did I get out of high school? And um, I learned out of high school that it's so important to just focus on yourself. Um, there's nothing wrong with having friends, there's nothing wrong with hanging out with friends, but what I learned in high school was it's so important to just be independent and focus on yourself and you graduating high school, you know, and it makes you a happier person. And I mean, me having a boyfriend kind of helps, you know, because my boyfriend and I didn't go to, we, don't, we didn't go to the same high school together. He lives um, 40 minutes from me. So, um, we didn't go to the same high school, and he's a year older than me. Um, he's a grade, you know, higher than me. And so, um, that's what I learned out of high school. Obviously, do good in school. Um, make sure you just focus on yourself. Be a, no, no matter what, just focus on yourself. Be independent. There's nothing wrong with that. And, um, so, yeah, that's. Oh, and so my friend Leanna, I forgot to almost answer the question. Um, my friend Leanna asked me what my favorite type of ice cream was. And uh, my favorite type of ice cream, mm, I honestly, with frozen yogurt, if you guys saw my Instagram post, I posted a picture yesterday with spoonful. get just premium tart frozen yogurt so good with strawberries or pineapple on it so good um, if I had to go with ice cream I would probably say like cake batter um, birthday cake that's my go-to um, so I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru right now um, the lines moving I ended up leaving 20 minutes before work because I knew I needed to start my intro and I didn't want to be in a rush with trying to record and also like go to Starbucks so um, I'm just waiting here okay it's almost time for me to order the window doesn't work so I have to open it up. Uh, what can I get for you? can I get a Trenta um, strawberry acai with apple juice instead of water and that'll be it all right thank you Ugh. I know I have to open the door um, I have to open the door since the window doesn't work in the truck. Um, my Honda is currently in the shop right now. The front of the car got messed up because um, my mom got in an accident, I think a year or two ago. And um, that was when she was driving the Honda. And uh, so it's in the shop right now. Um, so I have to drive the truck until my car gets back which um, usually I'm just used to the Honda. I'm not really used to the truck. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's my life, honestly. Um, a couple other stories I wanted to talk about. Um, in the beginning of my senior year, I got my license last year in July, and um, I... First of all, put diesel in my mom's car. So my friend Leanna and I, I picked her up. I was like, you wanna to go to lunch? It was our senior year um, orientation for high school. And so I was already in Huntington. I live, I live, you know, in Riverside. So I live, you know, farther from where my school was. I would commute every single day to school. And um, so Leanna and I, I told her mom about it. She said, that's fine. So Leanna and I were like, let's go to lunch. And then I ended up telling her, I was like, hey, I gotta get gas. Like, if I don't get gas, you know, obviously we're not gonna make it anywhere. So, um, I just barely had my license and my mom and my stepdad Nick told me what type of gas to put into the Honda. I drive a Honda Accord 2007. And um, I pull up um, to the gas station thing was on the other side, but I parked the wrong way. So I, I turned around, Leanne, I was like, Oh, like park over there and it was a diesel uh, 
gas tank, but we didn't know the difference. And I was in a hurry and everything. So I pull over, I tell the lady, I'm like, can I get $40 on whatever number it was? And she was like, diesel? And I was like, yeah, I know. And I was dealing with a lot of emotional stuff at the time. And so I wasn't thinking of it. And um, so I put almost the whole $40 of diesel gas in the Honda. And when, um, luckily, you know, this guy, he said, hey, like, you're not supposed to put diesel in the Honda. It could, um, it can ruin your engine. And so I started freaking out and my mom, call my mom, my mom had just put diesel in the car. I've never seen my mom so mad at me in my entire life. Like, I literally think she wanted to strangle me. And, um, but lesson learned. Um, I was scared of gas stations. I hated going to gas stations for a really long time. And the bill was really high. Um, we had to get the car towed and they had to suck out all the diesel gas out of the Honda, which that cost like 300, super expensive. Um, so don't put diesel in your car, guys, because um, unless your car runs diesel, don't put diesel in your car. And then one time the alternator went out, um, I was driving a Lionel. You know when the alternator's going out because first the radio shut off, which was random, and then um, the air shut off, which was super hot. It was summer in Southern California, I was dying. And then the gas, um, the emptying full kept going back and forth. And then um, the meter for the speed kept going back and forth, so I knew something was up. The car just absolutely shut off. And luckily I wasn't on the freeway or anything, but that was super scary. Um, I was happy I wasn't on the freeway because that would have been terrifying. Um, but that was another bad experience. Um, I don't think I've had anything else seriously happen, but, um, that's about it. Um, I'm about to get my Starbucks right now. Excited. Um, that's exciting to get my Starbucks. I usually, lately I've been liking the Very Berry Hibiscus with Lemonade Two Shots of Raspberry. So good. But I wanted to go back to my original, which is usually, um, a strawberry side with apple juice instead of water so that's what I got this time I'm about to go up right now okay I'm freaking have to open the door my mom I keep telling my mom she needs to get the window fixed but um, that hasn't happened yet. thank you thank you you too I almost left without my card. <laughs> that awkward moment when you almost... I have one more story to tell you guys before I leave. Um, so one time I went to Popeyes. Super good. Um, one time I went to Popeyes. And I was in such a rush. Honestly, you guys, every story of my life, typical Brendan, I'm always in a rush if I'm going somewhere or trying to do something. So, um, <laughs> I was in a rush at Popeye's, and I order everything, and I'm ready to, to get my food and everything, and the guy was in a rush to uh, Popeye's, and I'm sorry this thing keeps dangling in your face, um, and so he totally forgot my drink, and it was the most devastating thing ever. If you guys don't know me, I am obsessed with soda. Um, I've been trying to cut back on it lately because I don't need it, but, um, well, if you guys liked this video, this little like talk with me, go to Starbucks, um, Q&A and all my stories that I had, give this video a big thumbs up, um, subscribe, comment, even video suggestions that you want me to do next time and I'll be sure to try to do it. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.